I thought you were gonna poop. Change my mind. My coffee might change your mind for you again. <laughs> it might. <laughs> That's my, that's my drum major stuff. Okay, really, it's, it hurts my ear when you do that. Okay. How can you clap so loud? I was a drum major. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's been probably six weeks-ish since uh, we took the test with our, with our saliva. <laughs> Yeah, apparently, I guess my genes are a little complicated. We cheated a little bit and I took a peek at mine before we ever did this video, so I'm actually just reviewing what I've already seen, which basically is that I'm white. AF. I think that's why he got his results in pretty quick, too. <laughs> <laughs> pretty simple. When you're white I mean, AF, it's yeah, pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> so... When you get your um, notifications that your reports are ready, you get a cute little email like this. Yay! And what you do is you click on view your reports. So while Casey reads out his um, DNA discovery, I'm gonna log in. Hopefully I remember my password. <laughs> so it turns out that I am European. 99.2% European. So, Northwestern European, to be more specific. So, that means that, uh... Um, where were you? Uh, I'm white. <laughs> yeah, I know that! <laughs> the list! So, British and Irish, 61.9%. And they don't have, they don't test for Scottish, and I was actually really hoping that I was going to be Scottish. Because uh, that's what well, I was told my whole life was you, that was... He is. The well, yeah. UK is it's... considered Scottish. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess they just don't, they don't really put that in there because a lot of Scots um, are also Scandinavian. Like Vikings came mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. to the UK and so they don't test I guess for, they don't. for Viking either. <laughs> Viking? <What? laughs> I wish. That would have been awesome. And then French and German, 15.6%. We oui, we. Oui. That means I get to officially make French jokes, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> just, just slow your bratwurst, there, buddy. And one of my favorite parts: East Asian Native American, 0.7 percent. That's not that much. It's enough. In the grand scheme. <laughs> it's enough. It's not really that much. <laughs> <laughs> and then womp womp, West African, none. Well, less than point. One no, that's, percent. That's sub-Saharan African. Right, but but here's the thing. That might no. be a thing that biblical things might have to do with it. I don't know. Everybody's I'm not from, gonna say. I'm not a theologian. From one woman. Right. <laughs> Are you logged in? Yes. Okay, let's look at yours. Cause I am. You're gonna be way more interesting than I am. Ancestry composition. Yes. All right, so here I am. I come from a lot of places. Look at that cool little map guy. Okay. Oh my God. Like your map and my map. <laughs> you guys, this is intense, you guys. I am actually more East Asian and Native American <clears throat> than I am Sub-Saharan African. What? So I am 51.2% East Asian and Native American, 49.4% Southeast Asian, but combined I am 51.2% East Asian and Native, Native American. American. Hmm. I am 38.7% Sub-Saharan African, 7.6% European, 0.1% Oceanian, and then unassigned 2.4%. Let's look at the scientific details. Is this the part where we find out we're related? Shush! <laughs> You'll have a little thing here that is a summary. So you have to click on each to find out the breakdown of each part continental-wise. 
So for the East Asian and Native American, which was 51.2%, I am 49.4 Southeast Asian and then 0.2% Native American. How does that work? The East Asian part, I am less than 0.1% Mongolian and then 0.2% broadly East Asian. My mama's genes are strong, y'all. She's stubborn and angry. Yep, that's pretty much me. Uh, so, <laughs> Sub-Saharan African, 38.7%. Um, 32.7% is West African, 0.8% uh, Central and South African, 0.2% East African, and then 5% is broadly Sub-Saharan African. So 32.7% West African. Man, this is nuts. 0.7% nuts. <laughs> It, right now, I this is the first time ever looking at this, so I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, and I'll look into it in more detail later. Um, but I think it's I think it's interesting that I'm mostly Asian. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So we ordered the DNA only for 23andMe, but I highly encourage you if you can order ancestry and health to do so well you can because upgrade. i'm pretty sure and i'm pretty sure you can upgrade but mm -hmm. i'm just you saying can. if you have the means please just go ahead and get everything done yeah i know right now there's a lot of controversy with companies that analyze dna like 23andme i'm not necessarily as concerned because i just want to know like my genetic makeup and I would like to know um, certain health markers like what foods are good for me and what exercise is good for me and also what I'm prone to mm -hmm. as far as illness is concerned. Um, I think that's very important information to know about yourself and if you know the the tools that you need in order to live a healthy life eat well, exercise, um, you can prevent some of those illnesses and those things that are in your genetic background or makeup. Um, I, I don't know, I just think it's very important information. I think we should actually know this. But it's obviously worth it to me just to see that, uh, that history. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do the upgrade eventually. I think you can upgrade it now for like 130 bucks or something like that. I bought these uh, for a Thanksgiving um, and holiday special. And so you could get two for the price of one. So there's also that if you wanna wait until they do that again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like our video down below. And we'll see you next time. Hi. Bye. Oh <laughs> Is that what you did? I did! Oh my god. <laughs>